Before we proceed further, let's check whether the Einstein co-pilot agent can provide us the city weather information or not. Okay, so our agent is not able to provide real-time weather information of the provided city. Let's do some customization to get real-time weather information for the city provided by the user. So we are going to use Open Weather API for this requirement. As you can see, we are passing the city name and API key in the URL. After sign up for the free plan, we can generate API key and it will be active after two hours. So don't get confused because on UI it will show active, but if you will try to make call out, it will show 401 error. So better to make call out after two hours. Now in Postman, you can see we are directly using API URL and passing city name and our API key in the parameters. No authorization needed and no headers needed. Let's see it will provide us the result or not. So API return the real-time weather data of City Delhi. Here we need to know that weather is an object type of item in the JSON. It's a point to remember because it's important to get weather information later in the flow. So we are good to go. Let's go to our org and create a named credentials first. We have already created a named credentials with name open weather API. Let's see its details. So we have given its name and API URL that we are going to hit for the results. We have selected no authentication and selected some checkboxes in callout options. Now we will create a flow that will fetch weather information using get method from Open Weather API, and we will use that flow to create agent.
because we want to get city name from the user, so we are creating a variable city name and it's available for input, so we can fetch the city name from the user. Always remember to provide the flow description because it will auto fetch the description inside the agent where we are going to use this flow. Now we need to assign the variables to show weather information on UI. In this demo, we are not doing exception handling, so we are directly using the variables. If you want, can handle the exception inside your flow. As we have mentioned earlier, weather data in the result JSON is an array of item type. So we need to define a variable with apex defined type and allow multiple values with available for output. We need to select this Apex class, which is automatically created by Salesforce, when we create the external service inside Flow. So our Flow is ready. Let's save and activate it. Now we will create an agent action that will use this flow. Once our agent action is ready, we will use it inside the agent named Einstein Copilot. As you can see, our flow description automatically showing in agent instructions. Now we need to provide some instructions for input and output, then we will be ready to use it. First we need to deactivate this agent, otherwise we'll not be able to add new agent action. Now we need to add some instruction for our new agent in topic instructions. We can provide a sample input also for our agent.
After adding our new agent action from the asset library again, activate the agent. Let's see our new real-time weather agent in action. As we have not done any formatting to show the output in a beautiful way, but we will get the weather result. You can do more customization to make it perfect. so you can see the weather information. As we showing the whole weather object so it's showing like this. Let's try for some more cities. We have used get method to fetch weather details. You can try to use other methods also with some other API like LinkedIn or Facebook. You can create an agent that can post on social media using agent force.